Hey, so we uh, did an MNT grading submission. We submitted on February 22nd. Cards came back August 20th. Box is still sealed. I'm gonna open it up, show you guys what we got. Everything looks like it's well packaged. They sent back top loaders here. Get that out of the way. All right, so it looks like they're all in boxed individually here with several cards in there. Take them all out. Looks like the rest of our top loaders were used as, I guess, just some extra padding. Um, looks like some cards came back. I wonder why that was. Did some cards get returned? Same. Henry Richard, Terry Sawchuk, Albert Langlos, Doug Harvey, Marcel Bonin, Henry Richard again, Claude Provost. Three of them here, Ralph Backstrom and Bill Goyet. It's unfortunate those did not get graded. I am curious as to why. Just taking the rest of these bricks out of here. Empty there. Roll around. All right, so I'm just gonna lay them out here. Move them up one at a time. I'm gonna start with this guy here. All right. See, so they're all individually packaged here. So we've got. Kyle Connor, Diamond Relic, got an 8, a little bit better on the Connor Hellebuck it looks like, got a 9 on that one, the light is kind of causing a glare, so Mark andre Fleury Young Guns, also got a 9 on that one. And Henrik Lundqvist Young Guns. Also the nine. I know these guys grade a little tough, but hoping for some 9.5s or even a 10 in there. I want to cut the cards. Vintage ones in here. Like Jim Roberts. Eddie Shack. Not good centering, but unfortunately the corners knocked it down, I guess. Dennis Potvin. Seven on that one. Got a Wayne Gretzky. I believe that's his third year card. Mark Messier rookie card. Five point five. Mark Shifley. Sent this one in knowing it was going to be a low grade. It does have a little wrinkle on the side there, but figured I'd see what it would get. 
paid roughly $14 a card, so it wasn't a huge deal. Might have the lowest graded one. Could be a one of one then. Uh, Yuri Curry rookie card there, the six. Slabs look really nice. More Shan Young Guns. I guess the corners weren't quite as good as I had thought. Another nine. Patrick Law. This is my first Law that I bought. It did have a creased corner, so I wasn't expecting anything huge, but a seven I think is pretty good for that. This one I expect a little bit higher, but I guess six is fair for its age. I did receive a bunch of vintage cards that came to me in a plastic bag, which unusual way to store them, but it came in a basically a garbage bag. There were some damaged ones in there and a few good ones. Yeah, a low end Crosby rookie there, victory at a nine. Centering isn't great, but Maybe that's sending it in. Steve Eiserman rookie card. Expect a little bit better for that one, but it is what it is. 6.5. Kyle Connor. So far, no 9.5s yet. Uh, looks like you got an 8.5 on the surface there. Still a nice card. And we got a Patrick Kane Young Guns. Nice card, got a nine. All right, let's grab the last one here. All right, so sit in this Josh Morrissey. I have a second one. Figured I'd get the other one graded. Came back a nine. Connor Hellebuck Young Guns, also a 9.5 away from a 9.5, so we're getting closer. Got Vander Kane Young Guns, another 9. Got Blake Wheeler Young Guns as well, another 9. And we got another Steve Eiserman rookie card. To double check which one was mine. This is somebody else's card, I believe. It's also a seven. All right. Got six left to go. Let's see what else we got. We got that, so we can cut the card. We got a Jonathan Taves victory rookie card. 8.5 on that one. Got an Ed Belfour. I actually met Ed Belfour and got him to sign this card, so I just wanted it encapsulated, I guess. It's kind of hard to see the signature. He did it in silver. But it's not a high dollar card, but. Got a Bobby Orr Tops James Norris trophy. I don't know how these guys grade with vintage, but it seems like they grade pretty tough. Got a Nick Ehlers Young Guns. It's got nines all around. All four subgrades are nines. And we have another Mark Scheifele here. Also a nine. And these guys are tough on the grades, eh? No 9.5s yet. Got a beautiful pro set Dominic Hasek rookie card. Look at that. You got a nine on that. Not bad for a one dollar card. We got a Murray Oliver 65 66 tops. It's a good looking card. A 
put a 6.5 on it. All right, a little more here. Get that open. All right, we got John Tavares, Young Guns. Another nine on that one. And Austin Matthews, our first 9.5. Look at that beauty. Wow. We've got Alexander Ovechkin. Unfortunately, didn't grade as high. But it was still, did come back a 9. Look at that. That is a nice card. We've got a Patrick Line Young Guns Canvas. Our second 9.5. That's a true gem right there. All 9.5s across the board. Got another Patrick Line. Another 9.5. Unfortunately, it does have a 9 on there, so it's not as good. Still a good card. We've got a Connor McDavid. Young Guns. Fortunately, got an 8.5 on the edges, but that's still a great looking card. And we have another Mark Shifley. Get another 9 on that one. That one's not mine, I don't think. Alright. Four left to go. Hopefully we get a 10 in here. That would be nice. Even a couple more 9.5s. So we got some more vintage stuff in here. We got a Wayne Gretzky assist leader. Nice OPG card. We got another Gretzky and Michael Goulet shorthanded goals leader. Got a pro set Wayne Gretzky. Got an eight on that one. The gentleman that submitted that had uh, he got some of these cards from his grandfather, so they were special to him. So we wanted to get them graded. There's another Gretzky here. Got a seven point five on that one. Got another Jonathan Tapes, a rookie class card. This one got a 9.5 as well. Very nice. Got another Sidney Crosby, a rookie class as well. Looks like it had some surface damage. Got a 7 on that. Sometimes it's hard to see the surface with their naked eye. Need a microscope to see that. And we've got a Young Guns checklist with Jonathan Taze, Devin Setaguchi, and Yuri Tolusi. Got a 9 on that one. Alright, so we've got 3 to go. So far I'm really impressed with the way the slabs look. Nice and clear. I don't see any imperfections in there. MNT's Communication was really good throughout the whole process. Replied to my emails quickly. Responded to any questions I had. Uh, we've got a Ben Bishop Young Guns here. Got a 9 on that one. We've got a Nikolai Ehlers Young Guns again. Got another 9. Connor Hellebuck Young Guns. This one got a, a little bit better than the last one. 9.5 on that one. We got a Frank Mahobolic. Mahobolic, OPG. Even their labels look really good for the lower numbered stuff. We got a Kirk Muller. I believe this is his rookie card, 85-86. Got 
good looking card. Nice and white. Good eye Grant Fuhrer rookie card. Seven on that one. Might change a bit. Got a Carey Price Young Guns. Got a nine on that one. Two left to go here. Got a Mark Shifley Future Watch Auto. Picked this one up for 25 bucks a couple years ago off of a guy at the local card store. Has the Autograph grade on the back there. Different. Yeah, 25 bucks. Got a 9.5 on it. Not too bad. Uh, Nikolai Ehlers Young Guns Canvas. Solid 9.5 on that. I'm not a baseball fan, but someone did submit this card to Bo Bichette. I don't know. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but got a nine. It's a good looking card. A couple of Martin Brodeur rookie cards in here. Pick the best ones I had. See what I could do. Got a nine on this one. Not bad. Got another one here. A little bit rougher on this one. We got a couple of eights in there. Got an eight overall. Last one for the Brodeurs, an 8.5, so we got an 8, 8.5, and a 9. Maybe I'll have to find some more and try to find a 9.5 and a 10. We've got another Dominic Hasek rookie card here, the upper deck, got a 9 on that one. Alright, last one. Some more vintage in this one. Got another Wayne Gretzky scoring leaders card. It's got a 5.5. Got another Wayne Gretzky goal leaders card. Another 5.5. Got an in action Wayne Gretzky. 82-83 OPG. Got a six on that one. And we have another Wayne Gretzky team leaders. And another Wayne Gretzky assist leaders. Seems like everything Wayne Gretzky that Goes online, sells for a decent amount of money. Or dead anyways a few months ago. May have slowed down about a little bit now since people are going back to work. Not as much invested in their hobbies. That's okay. It's a little more affordable for the rest of us. Another nice 8283 Wayne Gretzky. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions about the grading process, you can hit me up. I'll try to answer all the questions I can.